Hi, welcome to the Text Creator tutorial video. I'm Griffin with Matter Hackers, and uh, today we're going to show you how to use the Text Creator. So this is the first screen you'll see when you open up Matter Control. Um, you have all your basic features, your options, controls, queue, everything. But today we're going to go to the library, which is where the create function will be found. You can see here we already have a couple of things in the library um, that we made with the Text Creator. So you just click create and then go to your text creator. It's the only design tool we have currently integrated. Text creator, bam. And this is the first thing that you see when you open up text creator. You have all your viewport options. Um, the viewport functions exactly like it would if you were in the 3D view for a part. And you also have the plating feature here as well for when you insert your text. So we'll just insert some demo text, demo text rules. Okay. So it inserts the part at the default size, um, as spaced as it can possibly get, uh, around the mid range size. Um, note that the size can be adjusted at any time after the part is created. Within the 3D view, um, it has a whole um, scaling system. So right here is less important. Just kind of get the basic place where you want to do. You have the advantage of a slider. So. Go ahead and do that. Um, you can change the height here, the height of your letters and your underline as well. So let's make it really high. And you can also change whether or not the underline is toggled. So we'll leave it on for now. Now, another thing that you can do here, um, we'll click into the plating, is you can see once you're in plating, it highlights the letters like this, one letter at a time, and you can move them around. So we'll do this, do a little diagonal lettering, demo, text. We can arrange them fun ways. Now this isn't really practical for anything. Obviously the underline's not going to be able to connect them, but you can do it for fun. And you just click out and there you go. You have your plate arranged however you want it. And if you want to reset, you just reinsert it and it takes everything back to the default settings. So you don't need to worry about that. Uh, let's put in a better set of words here. Let's say printing is great. Exclamation point. Wonderful. We'll insert that. Now, if you like this, um, but you don't think it's going to be very structurally sound, you see how this is disconnected here over by the exclamation point. You can actually go into the plating again and move that underline right here. And just click out, and there you have it, all connected. So another thing to note is that when it's heightened like this, the letters are uh, varying heights, so that way they don't all finish on that same layer, which is nice. You get a little bit of, a, of an elevation difference, which is cool. So say this is the part we want. Um, We've gone through all the basic features, all the uh, spacing, size, height, underline, everything. So we just go ahead and save and exit, and uh, you got to wait a second for it to save. And then it will add that part to your library, which is here. Um, and you can see we've already saved a couple of things, the map hackers exclamation point. And what you can do once it saves is add it to your print queue. You can just open it up in the normal 3D view, um, where you can do the rest of the rotation, scaling, see how it, uh, see the size compared to your print bed, and so on. You can export it as an STL or G code once you have um, a printer profile selected, or you can just remove it from the queue, which you're gone now. All right, so here we go. Let's save the file. So we have our printing is great here. Going to add it to the queue, and then boom, we see it just ready to go, ready to print. Um, the file is. Um, manifold. It doesn't really matter how you arrange the letters. It's designed so everything uh, turns into a printable file, regardless of how bad you mess with it. So, you know, or so far to limit to the extent of our testing. Um, but who knows what people can do? Um, so that's it. That's the basic um, everything that you can do with the text creator. Um, of course, we're always working on it. We are looking to add fonts. That is a highly requested feature. Um, and I, I know you're looking forward to that. We're working on it, and hopefully it'll be released in a future update soon. Um, so, yeah, that's it, guys. Go make something great.